Hey everybody, Light here, and today's video we're going to check out iPad OS 14.2 Beta 1 on the iPad 6th generation. So, the first change that we have right here is inside Control Center. And right now we don't have anything playing, but if we go ahead and go inside, you can see here we have auto suggested media content that we could play directly on this view. So if you go ahead and tap one of those available options right here, it will automatically play and adapt the control on the view. And as you can see, you could also see now the source where that media is playing. And that also adapts accordingly to the app that you have installed and is playing the media right here as you can see. And also going back to this feature, if we tap here the output button, you will see right here that we still retain the media controls on top. So if we're switching between devices and want to immediately control the media right here, we could do that. And also if you have noticed, we no longer get the current time and remaining time on top over here as you can see which was previously right over here. And now that time is just going along with the scrubber right here. And those changes also apply to the lock screen and of course the notification center. And as you may notice right here, the album artwork is now quite bigger than before, right here. And as mentioned earlier, you no longer get the current time and remaining time, it's all here in the scrubber. But tapping here the new source for output, we no longer get the controls unlike previously in control center but still you could freely change your device. Another change that we have here available on iPad OS 14.2 is inside settings, control center, and if we scroll down, we will see here a new toggle for music recognition. And if we have that enabled, all we need to do is go to control center and that toggle should be available. Also, one amazing feature about this device, as you can see, I'm wearing my AirPods and if I play a song and tap on the music recognition button, it would be able to detect the current song that I'm playing right now. As you can see, don't worry, it still works with the external music sources that you want to recognize. So right here, I have it turned on and I have something playing on my Mac and it was able to recognize the song that was playing. So we no longer need to go ahead and open Siri and say, hey, what song is playing? Just for us to find out what music is playing, which is actually nice. For instance, you're watching a movie or perhaps is somewhere and you want to know what song is playing, you can just simply toggle that thing and that would detect it. So those were just some of the changes in iPadOS 14.2 Beta 1 on the iPad 6. Also, if you found other changes for this update, please let us know in the comment box below and it would be much appreciated. Also, if you want to know more about the latest update or about the iPad 6 or perhaps have other video suggestions, please let us know in the comment box below and we'll try to get to them. As always guys, thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.